hey, now get it started. What, what have these first few days been like for you? Uh, you know, I've just, just been trying to be a sponge, really, just soak up all the information from all the vets getting back here. Uh, I mean, I've enjoyed it. Uh, high quality people, just top to bottom of the whole organization. So, I mean, I've really enjoyed it. And one of the questions I've, I've been asking people is just about their welcome to the NFL moment. Have you had that moment yet where you, you know, you walk in the locker room and maybe see somebody or what's that sort of been like for you? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, like, I'd say superstars on this team. Uh, you know, I saw Alvin yesterday, just seeing Cam Jordan every day, uh, just walking around and just seeing guys that you watch on Sundays, on Mondays, on Thursdays. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then, you know, you're around them, you're going in working out with them. It's pretty, uh, it's different for sure uh, from college to the NFL, no doubt. So every day it's just kind of a little reminder just being around those guys. I know it's early, but is there anything that you're working on refining or um, or perfecting at all in terms of as you uh, undergo your process here and your transition from college to the NFL? Yeah, everything, uh, everything. You know, I think it's a lot more detailed here. So uh, just going from college to the NFL. So uh, just everything that, you know, from stance to footwork to uh, get off, uh, pass rush, using your hands more, continue to get better with your hips, more flexibility. Just There's so many more uh, details and stuff that you don't even look at when you're in college just because, uh, you know, you might out-athlete people and everything. But, you know, it's everything's just so much more detailed uh, once you get to this this point. How has uh, defensive line coach uh, Ryan Nielsen been with you so far in terms of those details and more? Yeah, uh, really detailed. Uh, he kn definitely knows his stuff. Um, I, you know, I've just, like I said earlier, I've just been trying to be a sponge, soak up all the information from the vets and Coach Nielsen. Uh, he's a really good coach, uh, you know, just a really good dude. So really, really good situation for me to learn, learn in, uh, you know, with him. You know, Cam said the other day that uh, he's been calling you Marcus Davenport Jr. I don't know if he's told you that to uh, <laughs> your face, but, uh, you know, what's your relationship been like with Cam and, you know, the rest of the fashion group so far? You know, I know it's early on. Yeah, uh, definitely, like, uh, it's cool. I think a lot of the guys that I'm around are just, like, super confident, uh, you know, about themselves. So, and it's, it's really nice to be around them and uh, – taking the information you know they don't mind they don't not mind helping the rook out uh in, in a lot of those situations so anytime you know i have some questions about things like whether it be football or just like life uh you know they're open open they're like open books for me just to go talk to them uh just learn from uh just like all up and down the board the whole d-line room uh the whole the whole team really so it's really nice to just be around them uh, i'd say mentorship uh you know just because they've been through it and they've been successful uh they've been here for a while so just being around them and being able to ask them questions, I think is really valuable to me. I know you guys have been doing a lot of technique work during this, this mini camp. Is there anything that you've been able to learn that stood out right away? Like, wow, this, this is really gonna be able to help me? Uh, just like how, how important, uh, I mean, you know, in college, you know how important get off is, but, uh, you know, really breaking it down from every little movement from picking your hand straight up or throwing it straight back, uh, you know, just time. So I'd say get off is the biggest thing, stance work, and then um, you know Coach Nielsen's really good with all that technique stuff. So I've really been getting in the uh, film room with him and the rest of the D line uh, just to look at everything. How much room for growth do you feel like you have technique wise? What was that? Just technique wise, you feel like you, you're kind of scratching the surface. You feel like there's a lot of room for improvement there, or how, you know, where do you feel like you're at with it? Oh, I think so. I I think it's. Uh, kind of like tip of the iceberg you know I just really started getting exposed to uh, really in-depth um, stuff you know uh, at Houston I was just kind of learning to play DN um, in, in a lot of ways so for me to be able to just like full-time just get get my detailed uh, technique work down uh, I think that's pretty big time so you know who knows how much you don't know you don't know how much you don't know until you're uh, taught so that's kind of the uh, situation I'm in. Looks like you've gotten to spend some, a lot of time uh, exploring the city as well as spending some time within the organization. Is there a, a favorite experience you've had so far, something you're looking forward to? I mean, everybody here, uh, you know, I was talking to a few of the guys about it, like, you know, Southern House Hospitality, but I mean, just all around the city and then, you know, all, especially throughout this organization, uh, you know, everybody's just so, so open, so friendly. Uh, you know, it's not too much different from Houston, but I mean, it's just refreshing to know that, you know, that's other part, other parts of down south too. So really love New Orleans. I just love the people, uh, the vibe uh, around the team and just everybody here has just been so great. So uh, I really like that.
about to ask a weird question and I don't really know where it's gone, but you seem like a person that, that kind of like really exudes positivity. Is, is that fair to say? Like that, that's kind of like your outlook on life? And if so, like how does that philosophy, I don't know, do you feel like it, it helps you just kind of maintain perspective and, and, and take things in stride? Yeah, uh, you know, it's easy to be positive when you're living your dream uh, like I am. So, and then you got really got good guys around you, uh, you know, good leaders, good, just good people. Like I said earlier, like it's a lot of high quality people just top to bottom of the whole organization. So, uh, you know, it's hard to be negative, uh, you know, when, you, when you're in a situation like this. So, I mean, I'm lo loving life. I'm going back to something you talked about earlier, but like when you first saw Alvin Kamara, like what's, what kind of goes on through your head when you, when you see these guys that you, that you watch so much and do so many crazy things on Sundays on TV? Yeah, uh, it's wild. You know, I saw, I mean, I saw Drew too, uh, but I mean, just seeing like Cam Jordan, just seeing, seeing guys that have had so, so much success, seeing Alvin, seeing, you know, uh, Mike Thomas, uh, it's just wild. It's just cool. It's just really cool. Um, like I said, you know, I'm living my dream. So just to be around those guys in the locker room, Jameis, Taysom, just guys that I watch on Sundays, I, you see on ESPN, I'm talking about is pretty cool. So uh, it's just, I mean, like I said earlier, I mean, it's more, more so of a dream come true, uh, you know, and then, you know, I just got to work for it. Do you have to sort of pinch yourself to realize that you're actually one of those guys now, or do you, you know, how long does that take? Yeah, uh, you know, going around the city, it's cool. You get get a little bit of attention, uh, you know, from fans. You know, I think we have really good fans here in New Orleans, so nice, nice to. Uh, I mean, I just see myself as a regular dude, but uh, you know, to them, to them, I'm a little bit more than just a regular dude. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I think every once in a while, you gotta, if you take a step back, you can really appreciate your situation.